Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the look I filmed for you today. I thought I would show you guys how I create my faux freckles. This is how I do them. I think it's quite effective. I do always get a few compliments when I do throw freckles on how they look because I try and make them look as natural as possible. So today I have just done them on my nose and on my cheeks and up towards my temple but you can do them all over your face if you want to go for that full freckled look. Um, that looks really cute and I absolutely love it but I just didn't like this today because I wanted to make this video a little bit quicker. Before we get into the video please subscribe to my channel, please hit the bell icon and when we get to the end of the video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up because why not? Just give me a thumbs up you know. So if you want to learn how I created my fair freckles please keep on watching. So I've already got my foundation and concealer done and my brows as well. I do have tutorials for both of these things on my channel so go and check those out if you want to know how I did them. I haven't actually set my brows yet so if you want to obviously I'll probably do it in this video but if I don't show it in this video I do show it in the other video so go and check that out. You can see how I do my brows and how I set them and my foundation concealer but let's just carry on with the eyes. So I'm not really going to do much for eyeshadow with this eye look um, but I'm just going to take frappe and I'm just going to dust it through the crease and I might even do it a little bit over the lid as well. I'm taking that on a Zoeva 228 brush. And I'm going to take that underneath of the eye as well. I'm going to apply a little bit heavier underneath the eye just so it makes my bottom lash line pop a little bit. And then I'm just connecting it at the outer corner and then blending it back through my crease. And then I'm just going to take a clean brush, I'm just going to go right around the edges, make sure it's all really soft and blown out. Because really all I want it to look like is just like a bit of natural definition, I don't want it to look like I've got a ton of eyeshadow on. What I'm going to do as well is just blend whatever's left on the brush just in here and up towards the brow bone just to give it more of a natural effect. That's literally all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow. So all I'm going to do now is just a thin black line across my lash line, just for my lashes to sit on. And I'm going to use tattoo liner for that. My lash line is doing something crazy right now. I'm not sure if it's the lash glue that I'm using, but it's like dry, it's peeling. So I'm going to use my Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay and I'm just going to give like a really generous coating to my top and bottom lashes. And then the lashes I'm going to wear today are these ones by Demure Lashes and they are the Moonshot style so they're just like really really nice they are a little bit more natural than what i usually wear but they're still nice and like fluffy and they're not like super natural but for me they're quite natural um so yeah i'm just gonna apply those i have worn these before so i don't need to cut them okay so now the glue is dried a little bit i'm just gonna pop these on So before I do like my contour and highlighting things, I want to do my freckles first 
and how I'm gonna do that is basically this single shadow, this one's from Makeup Geek and it's um, Americano and I'm just gonna use that on like a tiny little brush. And I'm basically just dipping the very tip of the brush in and I'm not sort of like swirling it, I'm getting like hardly any product and I'm just gonna start by stamping that on. And it's important that when you're doing faux freckles that you do spread them out a bit, otherwise they will look really fake. So if I just kept them like on my cheeks and my nose, they would look really fake. So that's why you need to sort of like, almost like feather them away up your sort of cheek area. And when we put highlight on, most of them will probably get covered, but you will still be able to see some of it through. Um, and that's gonna make them look even more natural as well. And then once I've done one layer like that, I'm just gonna get my beauty blender and I'm really, really lightly just gonna tap over each section once or twice, just to sort of press them into the skin a little bit more. You can use your finger for this as well, that works really well. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Americano shadow. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to pat in some of the ones on my nose and on my cheeks. So now I'm just gonna highlight my skin and I'm gonna take Fuego, again, I know, I'm obsessed, on a Morphe M510 brush. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but even like when obviously the light is shining on my highlight, you can't see the freckles, but when I turn away, you can still see the freckles underneath. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up very well, but in person you can. And it just makes them look way more natural. So now I'm just going to bronze my skin with my Tantric bronzer. And what I'm gonna do is just take a tiny bit of bronzer and I'm just gonna dust it across the center of my nose. I feel like it just gives you a really nice, like, sun-kissed glow. Like you've just been out in the sun. But I haven't, because it's not fucking sunny. And then I'm just gonna lightly contour with the middle shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then I'm just gonna clean up underneath my contour with the light, with the two lightest shades in the palette. And then once you've bronzed and contoured and highlighted, if you wanna go back in and like reinforce some of the freckles, you can do. So I'm just gonna do that now. Doing like a few. You want my nose, really. And then I'm just gonna take a bit of Fuego on my brow bone just to highlight and I might pop some on my inner corner as well. And then I'm just gonna pop a lip on and I'm gonna do a really dark lip because I feel like freckles and dark lips look so good, especially when you haven't got much eye makeup on. So I'm just gonna line my lips with MAC Current Lip Liner. So 
So I've lined my lips and I've just like rubbed them together to blend in the lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors and Desi X KE collection in Savage. I'm just gonna apply this all over. This is honestly like the best formula liquid lipstick ever. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how I do faux freckles. I really enjoyed this video. I love this kind of look. I think it's super effective, but still super easy. And it's pretty quick as well. I mean, you can do it quicker than what I did it there. And if I was in a rush, like I'd definitely be able to do it way quicker. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as well because that will give you notifications every time I post and it'll really help me out too. You can also follow me on all of my other social channels and I'll link those in the description box down below along with all of the products I have used. With that being said, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.